Now, when do we prone? Uh, many a times in this uh, talk, I will be referring to the Proseva trial more because it's a landmark trial. And even now, uh, many people go back and refer to uh, guidelines given by this trial for when it comes to proning. It was published in 2013 in NEJM. If any of you want to go back and take a look at it. So according to the Proceva trial, uh, a patient can be considered for proning if they have a PF ratio of less than 150 on a PEEP of 5 or with an FIO2 of more than 60%. However, this is not a hard and fast rule. It, there, it is always subject to your clinical decision, especially with COVID, there are people who are who started proning patients much earlier, even non-ventilated patients are being proned. Now, when not to prone? As effective as proning is, there are some uh, situations where you should most certainly not prone a patient. So the contraindications are persistent shock. Very important here is the word persistent. Please understand that patients who are very sick, septic, ARDS, probably have some element of hypotension and will probably require a low dose of ionotropes, pressors. These patients are not contraindicated for proning. Those who have persistent shock in spite of optimizing their fluid, in, in spite, I mean, those who have increasing requirements of pressors, difficulty to maintain a map more than 65. Such are the patients that you will not consider for proning. Patients who have acute bleeding, massive hemoptysis, ongoing blood loss, hemorrhagic shock, now, proning is basically making a patient lie on their stomach for prolonged periods of time. The average time that is recommended is anywhere between 12 to 18 hours. So, obviously, if a patient has an open wound anywhere in the ventral surface of the body, <coughs> severe burns on the ventral surface of the body, then proning is not advised. Patients who have raised intracranial pressures, because proning in itself is found to be counterproductive for patients who have raised ICT. Uh, patients who have bone deformities that can be worsened or can become life-threatening if their position is changed. For example, a patient with severe spine instability, patient with severe, uh, with extensive facial fractures, pelvic fractures, and of course, pregnancy. Now, there are a few occasional case reports in the uh, COVID era for proning people for, for proning pregnant women, but there is no clear guideline for the same. There are some relative contraindications such as having anterior, uh, you know, ICDs in the anterior chest wall with air leaks, any again major abdominal surgery, lung transplant recipients. This, um, the last point is especially significant in the COVID era where we all know that people who are very uh, ill because of a pre-existing terminal illness, you know, last stages of uh, malignancies or patients who otherwise have a very limited life expectancy are in many countries not even being ventilated. So yes, if a patient has a pre-existing condition which severely limits their life expectancy and if you're, you know, in a resource limited setting, then maybe you would not consider proning for these patients. Um, according to the Proceva trial, they did not prone patients who had any DVT in the past 48 hours. But in the COVID era, we are not following this. I have seen patients, uh, I, have, I have seen data of patients being prone irrespective of DVT, even with patients who had minor PE have been prone. So like I told you, prone ventilation is not contraindicated in any patient with shock. It's only if the requirement of vasopressors is persistently going up or you're unable to maintain a map of more than 65. Renal replacement therapy is again not a contraindication uh, as, as long as it's not a peritoneal dialysis. In fact, many a times when we know or we anticipate proning, we have central lines either through the IJV, subclavian or the femoral. And this is perfectly fine. Many of the COVID patients, uh, in fact, the co many patients who get sick with COVID are patients who are CKDs on dialysis. Some of the drug treatments used in COVID cause renal failure and they end up going into dialysis or CRRT. None of this is a contraindication for proning.